All right, this is eighth grade math pre-algebra, page 134. Okay, we have two vocabulary words, equation. Equation basically has an equal sign. Remember, it's two expressions that are equal to each other. The solution uh, is basically the uh, answer when you solve an equation. So let's check it out. Let's go through and do some uh, writing two-step equations. I believe we talked about uh, solving two-step equations back in uh, on 3.3, and then we're going to talk about writing them from story problems. The first thing, American flamingos. A zoo currently spends $1,580 to feed its American flamingos. Next year, its budget for the feeding the flamingos will be 2370 and it will cost $395 to feed each additional flamingo. Which equation can be used to find n, the number of additional, additional e, hard to say, flamingos the zoo can buy? So we go through, they currently spend um, $1,580 okay, to feed their flamingos. Next year, they can only spend this much. They can't spend any more, so their budget has to be equal to that. So I'm looking at these two right here because they have the 2370. And if you look at this one, this is what we're starting with, and we're going to add to it some more flamingos. Each flamingo costs $395 to feed, and then we would just take a time. Can we have one, two, three, and it can't go over 2370? So I think the answer is B. Let's take a look and see this. And I don't know if it told us to solve it, but uh, the question, the answer there is going to be B, and they're solving it for us. And it's a two-step equation. Notice the first thing they did is they found the side with the letter, which we've been doing, and they got rid of the adding first, so they minus 1580. I would put mine underneath it. They're putting them um, the horizontal, not the vertical format. Then you have 395 times n, so you would divide by 395 on both sides, and n then would be 2. So you could get two more new flamingos next year, um, and that was, that was B, which is what we had said before. So the, the zoo, it cost $1,150 to feed the tortoises. Each new tortoise costs $575 to feed. A zoo's budget for tortoise food next year is $2,875. How many new tortoises could they buy? So follow, following the same format, we so far spend $1,050 plus it costs $575 to feed each new tortoise. Let's use T for tortoise. And we can spend $2,875. So let's solve this and see how many new tortoises we can buy. We're doing this together. There's my original equation. It's two steps. There's the unknown right here. I get rid of what's added or subtracted first, so I minus 1150 from this side. I minus an 1150 from this side. Those cancel out. 575t equals, that's going to be 5271. Divide, because it's 575 times t. The opposite of timesing by t would be to divide, or excuse me, timesing by 575 would be to divide by 575, and whatever we do to the left side or one side, we have to do the exact same thing to the other side, and that's a 5. It looks like a 6, but it's a 5. How many times will 575 go into 17? I think it might be. Let's try that. 2, carry the 2, 1725. So we could get three new tortoises with our new budget um, and be able to feed them next year. And there's the answer three. Example two, write and solving a two-step equation. I notice they're giving this to us in uh, word form. So what we need to do is we need to translate it into, um, um, into uh, uh, my brain just went blank, excuse me, into numbers and symbols. So the sum of four times a number, so that would be 4x and negative 6, the sum of those is 14. Now this right here can be simplified. Plus a negative is really the same as minus. Remember adding the opposite it's like doing the opposite of boom boom. It's totally up to you how you want to write that. I solve it 
I have a minus 6, so I add 6 to both sides first. The 6's cancel out. 4x equals 20. I divide both sides by 4. x equals 5. And we can put it in. 5 times 4 is 20. Minus 6 is 14. Works out. There's our answer. So we that's what we're doing is translating it. They simplified it also. They added the 6 to each side, and they came up with n equals 5, just like we did. Okay, example number 3. Reading. You want to find out how many pages you need to read per week in order to finish several books in six weeks. The books have a total of 1,244 pages. You have already read 500 pages. How many pages do you have to read per week? So you already have 500. 500 pages. Plus, you're going to read for six weeks. You want to know how many pages do you have to read per week? Six times x is the number of pages to equal 1,244. x equals number of pages. Per week, I guess, is how we would say that. So I would minus 500, minus 500, that'd be 4, 4, borrow 7 equals 6x. Divide by 6, 744 divided by 6, that's 1, that's 2, 24, that's 4. You would need to read 124 pages per week to make it. Let's see if I did that right. We did. Let's see if we solved it right. Did I do it right? Yay! 124 pages. What's the difference of 6 times a number and 9? Or, excuse me, the difference of 6 times a number and 9 is negative 3. So difference means we subtract 6 times a number minus 9 equals negative 3. Okay, difference, I'm subtracting. The difference of 6 times a number and 9, okay, so I get the x by itself. First I get rid of the minus 9 by adding 9, and I do that to both sides. Those cancel out. Bring down what's left. I get 6 divided by 6. x equals 1. That works. I think we got it right. Number is 1. Suppose in example 3 you have read 714 pages and have 5 weeks left. How many pages do you have to read per week? So you've already read, so we follow the same format before we'd read 500 pages. 714 plus 6x, oh swoosh, they got a five weeks left. It won't be six, it'll be just, let me erase that. Seven, let me get my pen and go back. 5x equals 1,244. So you minus 714, minus 714, 0, 3, 530 equals 5x, divided by 5, x equals 106. 5 goes in there, doesn't go in there, it goes in 36 times. 106 pages per week. There it is. So just work on setting those up. Um, the hardest part is taking them from words and putting them into the symbols, remembering what difference and sum and remembering your negatives and all that other good stuff. So um, good luck and we'll see you next time.